and welcome to our channel, Loving Handcrafts by BMW. This is Brenda. So I just want to say happy Father's Day really early. So I am making this card um, today. This is today's project by Dreaming Tree. So I purchased the files from Dreaming Tree and I was really intrigued um, by this card because Lily loves to fish. So um, let me just show you what I um, what I did and then we'll go to design space. So I kind of made it my own uh, by adding some unique things that weren't really in the original file that Leo put together. So um, I just made it my own. Uh, so I'm gonna take you to design space and then we'll, um, today I won't show you any cutting. Um, we'll just go straight into assembly because it's gonna be a, hopefully not too long of a video, but just, you know, there's some inking and then some, and other things that I use to kind of give it my own little flair. And you can do so much more now that I look at this card, I was thinking, oh, this would have been great if this was like camouflaged right here, use some camel. Um, get to try to find something here to kind of make this not look so plain, but that's okay. You know, it is, um, we'll make it work. So let's go to the design space. So here we are in design space. So let me say this. So, um, you will have to purchase, uh, the file from Jamie Tree. So let me show you where I got it. So here we are at the Dreaming Tree reps website. It's the three dsvg.com or you can just google dreaming tree uh, i apologize i said you had to purchase this you do not um this is the file so it doesn't cost you anything so the only thing you would need to do if you're not already is um become a um sign up and become a member of dreaming tree and this is a uh, dollar file and i will have this since it's a free file i'll put it in my landing page in cricut um, so you would add it to your cart, which I've already done that. And then you would bring it into design space. So let's go back to design space. So I uploaded it. So, uh, once I downloaded it, here it is. I uploaded it. I'll add it um, to my canvas. So the one thing you have to remember is that, um, I have a utility called, uh, SVG merge and it merges all of the files together. And then I can just bring it in as one packet. So I don't have to worry about this. Let me kind of zoom out a little bit. Um, <clears throat> it does come in grouped, so you would have to ungroup it. Now, I adore Leo and, you know, he's one of my crafting heroes, but I don't do the envelopes. Um, so I don't make the envelopes. So you can either delete it or hide it. And then, so yeah, I'm going to redo this because I've already got a fresh copy in. I'll just delete it. Um, <clears throat> so for the file, when you do come in, you're going to have to do some manipulations. Whoops. Sorry about that. Uh, so it, you just uh, decide. So the first thing I'll bring you back to my work surface, um, is this is using my Cricut and I use my pins to do the stitching. Uh, so there are two types, and I forgot to mention when you bring in the file and um, there's two types, there's the stitch version or the, just the solid, I think solid score line version. So let me bring you back to the canvas. So, but with any outside vendor coming into design space, you're going to need to attend to these lines. So these come in as cut lines right here. Uh, sorry, these come in as cut lines right here. So when I watch Leo's assembly video and I love, I always watch his videos first um, before I even attempt to do anything. Um, these could be cut lines. These could be score lines. So if you do the score or you can draw them. So that's what I'm going to do. So before you move on, let me see if I can get that fish out of there. Um, is you want to find the layer that it has the lines and then you want to make sure that you're selecting the appropriate layer and you're going to change it to basic cut and I'm just going to change it to pin. Now I know that it's going to draw the little reference marks that Leo provided but that's okay because they're going to be covered with the other items. 
So I want the the actual stitching, this part, to be in black pen. Then I want these next two lines, I still want them to be the score line, so I'll change it from basic cut under operations to score. Now everything is how I want it. And then I'll have to do the same thing with this other layer. So I highlighted it, and then I'm going to select that layer that has the stitching, and then I'm just gonna change it to pen. It'll save you a little bit of trouble. Now, I didn't turn my card into a gift card. I turned it into just a regular card. I wasn't gonna attach like a gift card for Willie because I wanted to do some other things. So what I wanted to do is I uh, wanna remove these cut lines right here because that's where you would hold the, uh, the little flap that will hold the gift card. I don't want that in there. So what I'm gonna do is you want to get rid of that so I got to make sure I can find the layer where it where it's at I'm clicking on it I can't uh, let's see is it grouped ungroup so I'm going to ungroup it because what I'm trying to do is get to the uh get the contour button to open see that's the wrong one and is it attached okay there it is so here the contour button is enabled so i'm going to click on contour at least i am clicking on contour hmm interesting okay having a little problem there i mean there it goes it just took a minute it was thinking and all I want is for these items to be gone. I don't want those. And then I'm just going to hide those. And then I'm just going to close it. So now it's gone. Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. So what I want to do is make sure I go back and attach all of these lines. Oh, but before I do anything else, see this, see these two marks here? I want to actually add them here. So what I'm going to do is uh, duplicate that, duplicate, and then I'm going to go back to contour. Give it a minute, because last time I was click happy. There it goes. And what I'm going to tell it is hide all contours at the bottom. But I'm going to turn this on and this on and turn that off. And let me tell you why I'm doing that. I still want these reference points but I want it to be on here as well. Now, technically I could turn it off on this one. It doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna go through all of that, but I want these, I'm gonna try to line it up as best I can. It doesn't have to be exact. I just wanna get it um, in there. So now let me just make sure I attach my lines. So back to the olive uh, element and just attach all those lines and then the score line didn't attach. So let me just make sure I get the score line attached. Now I got to find that rogue score line in my layers panel. So let me... Is that it? Okay, yeah. That's it. Let me try to bring it to the top. That should help. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. Now let's try to do it again. I'm going to detach and then attach them all. And that should, yes. So when I move it, everybody's looks good. Okay, so the reason I'm making sure I remember to attach is because when I go to make it and I don't attach that, it's a problem. It's going to be those um, lines and pen marks will be on its own mat, but not where I need them to be, which is with that olive layer, that olive colored layer. 
Okay, cool. So that looks good. So for this one, since I added that reference point, now I can go a little bit bigger and make sure I'm kind of getting it in the right spot. It's just, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it just gives me an idea of where I want to put the tag. Because again, I'm modifying Leo's um, original design to make it do what I want it to do. You know, hey, he always loves when his dreamers do something different. So what I'm going to do now is I think this is grouped. So I'm going to ungroup it. And I want to take this. Let's see if I can find it on its own in the layers panel. I want that. What? Did it not ungroup? Okay. It did ungroup. All right. So let's be careful. <laughs> it's always, so you're always doing, I'm doing extra. <laughs> As I see your work, I'm doing extra. So where's that little piece at? Or is this? You see, I, I'm afraid that if I start moving things around too much, that this stitching will uh, will go out of place. So let me see if I can attach it. Like, see, that's what I'm talking about. See, and I'm controlling Z on my uh, keyboard. All right, dude. Let's. What I want to try to do is make sure that these right here are kind of centered and it's not really letting me do that um let me pull that over i think it'll be fine okay i'm not going to worry about it because if i don't i can eyeball it but what i don't want to do is have to have try to cover it up and i'm trying to get this together and then if i do a line let me just show you what it's going to do see Okay, but that's not bad. So I'm just gonna ever be so ever patient. It's still bothersome. There's a way of fixing this, but if I do that, it's gonna be a long video. Okay, well, let me just show you how I would fix it. I would just make sure. Never mind. Then you can kind of use your contour and because they're all one layer, so. You could duplicate it, ungroup. Is that what the issue is? Maybe that's what the issue is. All right, never mind. I'm not going to play with it. I just want to get it done. All right, everything looks good. It look okay, this looks a little weird. You can kind of eyeball it, you know? Okay, and I, think, I don't think that's too high up for what I got planned. Okay. And so I'm going to attach everything and then I'm just making sure everything looks good. So I'm going to do it like a little check and make sure I don't have any rogue lines. I'm not ready to make it yet. So I'm going to click on make it and just see what the mats look like just in case because I've done a lot of maneuvering. And then it doesn't look like there's anything that it's, everybody looks good. Okay. Okay. That's perfect. So I'm just going to cancel for now because I'm not ready to make anything. All right, so that's the basic design for this. Um, but I wanted to take it up a notch. And um, so let me show you what I did. So I am going to duplicate this. All right, so I just need that. And um, what I don't need is all this other stuff here. So I'm going to detach and I don't need these so I'm just deleting those lines and I'm going to contour and then I'm going to hide all contour and all I want is the vest perfect whoops but I don't want the little doodads to not be attached so let me just atta whoop, attach those doodads so this one and this one attached okay so my doodads are attached. So my little uh, indicator where you put the... Now, technically, I don't need them. So if I was afraid I didn't have them in the right spot, I'll just, I'll just for convenience sake, just take them away. Because I'm really afraid I don't have them placed properly. All right. So this looked a little plain to me since I wasn't doing, like, the 
back of the card is a um to hold a gift card so i really needed something to go a sentiment or something to go in there so what i decided was well okay willie likes fishing let me go to i'm going to take you over to uh create fabrica and um i have an account um uh, and I per and I pay for this account as well, but you can do it as a free trial um, and you can go in and get graphics. So I typed in the, when I went to create Fabrica and I'll have a link to this in the, um, my description as well. Uh, I just started typing in fishing and you can see all of the graphics that you can add. So that tan piece in design space will be my, um, my uh blank canvas so these are going to be some print and cut so this is now turns into a print and cut project as well so i liked this one and i chose that one and that's going to go into the inside of the card uh no sorry that's gonna uh, i'll show you what else i did i did the back way card okay so i like that one so that was a contender so i kept that one and then i kept going i like the watercolors in there so then once you select your graphics, you, you know, you know, your husband and you know, your style um, or your father or your brother or your uncle, um, you know, you can get really elaborate with um, some of these um, items. So you just go through it and pick what what you want to do, and what your vision is with your design. So I'll take you back to design space because I've already done that. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it. Uh, print and cut. Let's see. Nope, that's the dad layer. Okay. So while I was in the... Uh, let's move that. So while I was in there, I don't need this anymore. Let me delete this off my thing. And I will just bring you guys together. Let me do a little tidying up. So I went in and did a couple of things in Create Fabrica. I went and picked two graphics that I liked. So I went and picked, let me move Willie out the way. Oh, it's grouped. I went and picked this design. So when I brought it into design space and then I picked this one for the back. So this is gonna be in the, this item, this particular design will be on the back of the card. So fishing dad. And then this item will be on the in front of the card. Um, so yeah, I'm um, sorry, I got rid of that too soon. So let me undo. So I'm gonna uh, zoom, control Z if you have a um, PC, which I do have. Okay, do I still want one more? I did a lot of moving pieces. Oh, come on, bring me back that shirt. Come on. There we go. Okay, I wanted to bring this back. <clears throat> Okay, so let's go to upload since I've already uploaded this. So I added that. So we'll add that to the canvas and I'll just show you the one if you're familiar with that. All right, so it comes in pretty big from Create Fabrica. So I'm just going to downsize it a little, resize it. And I'm using that um, resizer in the bounding box. So I'm just bringing it smaller like that. So this is where I'm going to place it and then, so yeah, you would just look and see. So I knew I wanted to put happy father's day, um, on here and I didn't want it. Uh, I wanted to have the room to do that. Um, so you can decide, um, by unlocking this box. So here's the lock proportion box. I think I just did a little something like that to give me a little bit of room. And, um, and let me just make sure this image is locked. So I'll lock it back. And then I just put it in the text and then I just typed in happy father's day. I wasn't really overly concerned with the font, you know, over so much. Um, you can decide what font you use. I'm sure I just used cricket font. Um, this cricket sands, I, I didn't, you know, go all out. 
Um, now you can unlock that bounding box too and get it to stretch or however room. You can move this around. You can make it a little bit bigger. However you want to do it is um, wherever your placement is. And so once you're satisfied with how that looks, um, then um, I'm going to select this all, whoops, except for that. And then I'm gonna flatten. Um, so yeah, and then I don't have to worry about the font, so I can fix. So if I'm gonna do that with my print and cut, um, you can pick all the nice fonts that Cricut has to offer. Um, so let me control Z and I'll undo it. Um, and you can just select, I think I changed it to writing first. Yeah, there it goes. And then you can, um, it doesn't matter if you change it to writing, it looked a little nicer. Uh, when I changed it to writing, it looked so fat. Now I could decide to put that here and make that bigger, you know, um, I actually kind of like that. That would work. Uh, and then just make sure that you center it. So align and let's do one at a time. Let's do the father and the vest and center that. And then if you don't like that, I can just move it up a little. Just be careful not to use my arrow key. And then just slip this in there and then you can I'll uh, do that and that looks good so we'll take that attach okay now that's how it's going to print out and then you do the same it's the same concept with the one f in the back um, because I thought it looked a little plain um, so I let me move this guy out so I did another one in another font and just said fishing dad because I couldn't figure out which one I liked so I said let me just use both and then that's how, um, and then I went into there and I wanted a hook because I felt the front. Let me see if I can ungroup, yeah, ungroup this. And then I just went and um, per looked for another uh, graphics and I just typed in fishing and um, I put in fishing tackle and then I picked this guy out because I wanted it in the front pocket, you know. Um, I just remember seeing those fathers and those images of guys who trout fish and they have all their lures and stuff on their hat. So I figured you could do that. Um, I could have did some bobbin. I, you know, I could have done a whole lot of things um, in terms of um, making the front of the card not be so plain. Okay, so now that I'm happy with everything, you go ahead and you click make it. Oh, by the way, let me just say this. I did an offset layer for this as well. Um, there is a very small, tiny offset layer, um, and I'll unflatten it. And then you can see that there's a white offset layer, but in hindsight, I should have selected black as my offset layer to this. Um, but you can do either, or I think I like the white. I thought I liked the white better. Yeah, there was a reason I didn't do, I changed it to back to white. It just shows up a little better. And um, so when I brought this in, I just used, uh, made an offset layer and I did a teeny tiny off offset layer for that. But that's basically all that I did. Let me just flatten it back, flatten. All right. And then for the fish, I did downsize the fish cause I wasn't gonna use it for the envelope. So I used it um, for the back of my card so that I could have a fish dangling on the back. So let's bring that to the front. So, and then I just, when I attached it to my card, I kind of have it like this. And then you can kind of judge if it's too big or, uh, yeah, about right here. I didn't need it hanging off the size, side of the card. So like I got a fish on the hook. So it says fishing dad. You can just bring that in a little. A little more in there and then there so I use that fish I so saw I repurposed the fish okay so then you would click make it and then I'm again like I said there's a lot going on here so we won't be doing the, the cutting um, I won't take you to the cutting part um, because I had a lot of other stuff going on and then you just ensure when you click on make it that everything looks fine 
before you start um, printing things out. Um, and of course I have an extra mat, but it doesn't really matter. Like, um, oh, and then, you know, you can use the dad. This is, I personalized it with Willie by using my pen and then it just duplicated. Um, I just duplicated um, one of these and then just wrote with my pen, Willie, and then just deleted the dad stuff, but that's all. So cancel. So let me take you back to the work surface. And then we'll go ahead and do assembly. Okay, so now we're back to the work surface. So yeah, let's just recap. So here are all the car, uh, the front, and then that's the back. Now, when I did this prototype, so this is my prototype. Um, it's just had, uh, I just used the big fish, so I didn't really think about it. Okay, so <clears throat> Rio did some inking. So I've got two memento inks. So these are dewdrop inks. So this is um, the olive grove. And then this is Toffee Crunch, because you want it to look a little smudgy, right? You know, from all the being out on the fish bank. So I smudged it up a little. So like Leo said, you can go buck wild with the inking on this project. So I went ahead and did that. So this is the inside panel with the sentiment. This is gonna be the back, and then I'll attach the fish here. This is the vest. So um, as you can see, I removed the uh, gift card holder. Not to say that you couldn't do a, a gift, you know, a gift card. It just wasn't what I was using this for. I just repurposed it. So these are the front of the card with the print and cut. I'm sorry, with the drawn in stitch, stitch version. And then I went ahead and smudged this up already. Um, so I don't have to do, and I was smart y'all this time, crafty crafters. I went ahead and did all of the by inking so you wouldn't have to watch me ink a whole lot, but I did save a few to do on camera so you can kind of get the feel. Now I'm not the best inker by far, um, but, um, not my jam but I do like to ink and I do see the value in doing the inking so what I did and do I need to bring come down a little okay yeah there we go um is just take a little dauber and I use the same dauber for the colors so I have a pack of them and I just label them um you know haphazardly nothing fancy for this labeling and then I just I'm just gonna flick the ink around the edges of the of this olive green okay did that one and then this is the other one so while I have the olive out I did all of the olives colored olive color and then you can put more ink less ink no ink I do think the ink does add a little a visual uh, interest to the project and I'm more than likely to ink than not ink. Um, I like how it looks with the inking. That's uh, just a personal preference. Um, when you watch Leo's video, he does the felt, but I like the finger dauber. I feel like I get more control, but again, it's personal preference. Okay, so that was me using the Memento Olive Grove and my Dewdrop inks. I have to say, I use them primarily on Dreaming Tree projects. Um, I don't know why I don't use them on other projects. I think of other inks that I could use. But when I'm inking, this is my go-to uh, source for inks. Probably because I've used them the most and I've had them the longest. And um, I know what color I'm getting. So it's probably just more comfort than anything. So when I was working on this, um, I'll try not to cry. I was thinking about my dad. My dad was an avid fisherman. Um, I remember him taking us to his favorite fishing holes. We had so much fun on Saturday. He'd take all of us. I don't know how he had the patience to deal with my brother. I have two brothers and myself, two cousins, and uh, three cousins. So it was like five of us kids 
and and he would take us fishing with us the whole family and i forgot don't forget my mom we would go on these fishing expeditions and he would get us cane poles and uh you know just like a cane pole and he it was like the cheapest thing you could get for a kid back in the day he didn't give us the real rod and reel so we just got the cane pole you get i'm the, i can't even remember what i look like that you would just toss in the water and so since we lived in michigan we did a lot of freshwater fishing um and uh oh my god we would spend all day some far out places since i was a little we were a little we didn't you know we we just knew it took us a while and it was not in our neck of the woods you know i, I lived in detroit so wherever he took us fishing it was always far far away it felt like it when you're a kid everything seems far away but we would spend there all day on the bank and there were no piers for us to fish it was I, I still can't marvel at how we would get in the just tumble down the bank and the grass and the in the summer and the mosquitoes and oh my goodness there was no fancy piers where we were fishing we were just getting through the brush just to get to the lake because we was getting this is in Michigan so this is all freshwater fishing and we would just fish fish fish. Um, and we have all these stories from my um, brothers. Uh, I will never forget my brother catching a carp. We, we had no idea that was even in the uh, water. We didn't even know what a carp was. My uh, oldest brother, Tony, caught this huge carp. It was, or it was a beautiful fish. It was the biggest fish I think my brother caught when we were little. And my dad didn't even, we didn't even have a boat. We were just out there on that bank and he would just catch fish and fish and fish and fish. And then we would come home and have to clean all the fish. Oh my God. My job was to scale the fish. I was a fast scaler and they looked when I scaled the fish, but I refused to gut them. I just refused. Cause I knew if I had gutted them, that would be my job all the time. So I was like, nope. Okay, so what you want to do is, um, and then let me just stop. So I've done all my inking, so everybody's inked up, so now I'm ready to put the card together. Um, hmm. I'm, let me go ahead and put in the first, the inside panel. I'm trying to decide if I want to do that first. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do that last. I'm just going to turn this over. And um, I, you guys know me, I don't do anything. I like to lay it flat. So I'm gonna turn this over because I wanna see where I want to put my hook. So here's my hook. I, I, and you know, when I think about it, I wish I could have found a hat and just slapped the hat on there too. Okay, so you have to make sure with these two elements, you have to make sure, yeah, we can, me back up a little you have to make sure mm, it doesn't look like let me pause and let my camera catch up because it still looks out of focus okay can you not focus why are you not focusing focus 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 come on camera you can do it catch up looks blurry to me okay there it goes just had to wait for a minute okay there we go so for these two pieces, you have to make sure you get them on the right side of the, there we go. They fit in like a puzzle and you'll know if they're not the right ones because they look weird. So let me grab my glue. It's my favorite glue. And um, I'm just gonna glue these down. And I'm gonna make sure I get enough glue, not so much that it'll ooze out, but just enough where it'll be doing its thing and I just want to get it right to the top and you want to align those stitches come on so I'm turning it on the inside just to make sure there we go that one's in place and then I'll do the other side and um so let me tell you what I ended up doing the back side is because of this right here <laughs> on the back 
But, you know, you can be creative and then you can add another sentiment like Willie on the front side and dad on the back or something. You know, you can always cover that up. There's always a way to cover stuff up. So then I'll just uh, align that up and then that's done. Okay, perfect. Boop. That's good. Right. Now for the pocket. So this is this side of the pocket. So what do you want to do is, and I'm not sure if I want to, yeah. So that's how I really want it. I'm not sure if I want to pop this up. I didn't use a pot dot on this one. And I think I may not because I like that it's kind of sitting flat, but I popped these up to make them look full. If I had to do it all over again, and I might do it on this one, um, I might want to cut this a little so it looks like it's coming out the flap but it's how you want to do it and I just put it here and then just turned it this way because I really wanted the hook to show and I really wanted some other color to be on the front now if I had thought about it again I could have did two and then have both of them coming out the other side but you know you decide and you don't have to use the um, hook. You could have done a bobbin if I could have found a like a bobbin, a cork. Um, um, but yeah, so we'll do that. So what I'm going to do before I glue that in is I'm just going to get this just this part glued down because I want to play with how where I want to put that hook. <laughs> And then I'll do the Leo method and I'm going to paint in some glue. But I want enough on this element here where if I don't like it, I can shift it around before that glue sets. So I made sure I put a little bit more glue than I normally would have. So there. And I'm actually happy with that placement. I don't care if it oozes out because it's uh, rough and ready. Uh, so I've got it. A scrap piece here and then I'm just gonna paint in some glue on this side so I can make sure that that's down properly and I forgot one step I was so excited to do this part but I'll make it work I won't do it on the other side and then I'll just paint in some glue here and then that'll that'll lay flat and it won't pop up um, for this, I think I had it right because I made sure. Okay, yeah, I got lucky. <laughs> I got pretty dang on lucky. Okay. Um, but you know what? I could pop dot this up, this element. <laughs> nah, I'll just lay it flat. I'll glue it flat. Um, so for this, element here for the pocket you have to make sure that you get it on the right end because there's a right and the wrong side for this and um I'll show you on what I mean on this one because I had them laid out like I needed them so see how that doesn't look it's not coming to both sides you've got to turn the rectangle the until you get it to look like this so it, you will immediately know that it's not the right because that's hanging over. So before I shear this one down on this side, I'll just uh, make sure I glue this on first. And this cart comes together. I'm trying to think of any more fishing stories. Oh yeah, okay, so when Willie and I got married, um, got married in... Oh eight, yeah, oh eight. And Willie um, retired from the army in oh nine. So one of his his goals was we're gonna go fishing, okay? Because uh, that's what he said he wanted to do. Sorry, my light went out. Um, I'll do this side too because it was going to go out. That's what he wanted to do. The first thing he did when he was retired was he wanted to get some fishing gear and go fishing. And um, he told me stories about going fishing with his dad and his grandmother fished and 
She never fished on Sundays, though. But uh, he really, really was looking forward for his retirement so that he could go fishing. So I got two stories. So the, so I was like, okay, cool, we're going fishing. So me being from the north and only knowing freshwater fishing, he says, oh, yeah, we're going to get some shrimp. I was like, oh, we're going to get some shrimp, too. Oh, cool, we're going to have some fish and shrimp, so we're going to fry the shrimp. And I'm just going to walk, and, and I'm just, uh, these go here. And um, we're like, okay, cool, we're going to go fishing. Then we're going to come home. When we come home, we're going to cook some, fry up some fish, and we're going to have some fish and shrimps and some fries and hush puppies, so all the shebang bang. <laughs> My husband comes out with the shrimp, and he said, oh, we're going to, uh, so I'm thinking, okay, we're going to get some worms, right? We're going to, you know, we're going to buy some worms. Heck no, he was using that shrimp for fishing. It was the most scandalous thing that I've ever witnessed in my life. Because where we come from, shrimp is so expensive. We're on the, you know, Mississippi Gulf Coast, so you can just go to the shrimp boat and buy fresh shrimp. I'm thinking, yeah, we're going to get some shrimp. We're going to eat the shrimp up. He says, oh, no, no, we're using this for fishing. I'm like, what? We're not eating that? No one up north would ever, ever use shrimp to fish well because we use uh or freshwater sh you know so we use worms night crawlers bread uh uh what do they call those little things i can't remember those little minnows to fish with nobody in my family and i thought this was the most sac sacrilegious thing would ever ever use shrimp to fish as bait we do the lure but we're sure the heck it's not going to be used. We're going to fry those shrimp. I am still aghast by that. And I, every time we go fishing, I think about that. And I just chuckle to myself. I'm like, oh, my God. I can't believe these people are use the shrimp for fishing as bait. Because uh, it's so expensive um, to purchase shrimp up north. Because, um, you know, they got to freeze it and ship it in. I thought he had lost his ever loving mind. And the shrimp here is so good. Shrimp and shrimp season opened um, in June. Um, so it just opened. So we have what we call blessing of the fleet. Um, and um, it's a tradition here in Biloxi. And for all the people that are going to be on the Gulf of Mexico shrimping, you know, this could be quite dangerous out there in the open sea. Um, so we bless the fleet and hope for a bountiful fishing harvest. And it's a really big deal. Um, and it's kind of like the kickoff of the summer se season because the, all the kids are out of school and everything. So it's pretty cool. Okay, so I've got everything all ready to go. I'm ready to fix these front panels. Uh, let me go to my other card. Where did it go? Okay, so yeah. So I'm going to lay these out first and then I'm going to pop dot these. And that's the only thing that I'm going to pop dot. I am not going to do this. I didn't like the way it turned out. Um, the I like the idea of having the fish to close the card. Uh, but And I used a little Velcro. Uh, but I didn't think about it. If I had, I should have like used two fish to make this a little bit more stable. Because um, it's a little thin for all the pulling and tugging. But I do like the look, so that was an option. That's what I decided to use with one of the fish since um, to kind of tie everything in. But you know, that's a, a choice you can make. So yeah, okay, so that was the first revelation. Um, again, for a person who's only freshwater fish. Now I don't, I can't say personally, um, if people use shrimp up north to fish with, but not in my family. No way, Jose. Not happening. We gonna eat that shrimp. Um, so then we go fishing. So it's our first time fishing. I haven't fished since I was a kid. Willie hasn't fished since he was a kid. We've got all our stuff. Uh, you know, we really didn't. I didn't know anything about fishing in the you know the saltwater fishing at all. So every all my experience. Oops, all my experience is. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot to put some pot dots in there. All my experience is freshwater. So, you know, it's a little bit different. The concept is a little bit different. 
So Willie catches something. I don't know what I I don't know what he caught. And it's still every time I go, I joke with him because we were off the pier, so we we're right, you know, really close. So we're not no, we're not in a boat. So we're just fishing off the uh, one of the uh, fishing piers. And he catches something that looks like I swear it looked like baby Godzilla. I don't know what this fish was. Someone called, told me later if they told me it was a rockfish. All I know is when he pulled it up, I backed up like the thing was going to jump off his hook. And I told him in all seriousness, throw that back. Nobody eats that. Nobody eats anything that looks like what he just pulled out. It was the most Oh, god awful fish I've ever seen. It was so scary. It looked like a monster, it looked like an alien. I'm like, I don't know what the hell is down in that water, but I'm not eating anything that came out that water looking like that. <laughs> that was that's our thing. I just told Willie, I said, Do you remember when I told you that put that back? Because nobody eats a fish that looks like that. <laughs> I don't know what it was. It wasn't a crab. I mean, I've seen crabs, so he's caught crabs and um before and we'll catch baby sharks and he'll throw them back um uh we'll catch things like that now uh but i am still traumatized to this day about whatever that ugly fish was i kept i kept chuckle to myself put that back nobody eats anything that looks like that throw that in the water and i'm totally backing up like this thing is gonna jump off his hook it startled me so bad um because i wasn't expecting anything that ugly to come out of the water <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it was hilarious. Oh, we've had a we've had a ton of time fishing. Uh wow. And uh before my dad um passed away, I was I was so excited because we're we can fish, you know, the city the um has provided nice fishing piers and places you can go out all the way into the Gulf, like really and fish and um uh, like they have, uh, you know, plus places for people to fish. We have like a, a actual fishing pier that goes out. You can, it's a driving pier. So you can drive your car and park and then fish. So I was so excited. Um, when we moved here, when I moved here and then when I married Willie, I was like, okay, my dad and brother can come fishing. You know, they can do like a fishing vacation. And, and my dad got here. He was able to fish like a couple of times and um before he passed away but i was deeply disappointed that he didn't get an opportunity to really 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 and my dad loves to fish um that was one of his that was his thing that's what he did um that was one of the you know like i said that was a deepest regret that he wasn't able to come and fish to his heart's content before he passed away okay there we go oh and so yeah pockets crooked so that's that side. So let me do the other side. Looking at the time. None of my videos are short anymore. Um, I'm gonna try to do better if I have all these little paper piecings to put it together. It was like, oh, but I can talk about fish. We're almost done, believe it or not. Yeah, so there's so many fishing stories. For our anniversary, so our anniversary was uh, June 6th so we went fishing <laughs> that's what we did so we went to dinner but we went fishing um uh Willie fishes and I just hang out with him but I, I do fish and I do uh, but I don't have my fishing license and I asked him not to renew my fishing license because my husband spends more time trying to help me and attend to me that he doesn't get to fish he's just that kind of guy so I, I just don't fish so he can concentrate. I just walk the pier, listen to an audio book or do whatever. Um, but it, I will, I'm the one that says, let's go fishing. It's time to go fishing. And that's what we do. That's our couple thing. That's our date thing. And as much as I want to sleep in on a Saturday or one of those holidays, I don't. <laughs> so let make sure he gets his fishing in. And the Mississippi Gulf Coast is a beautiful place for uh, the outdoors and being outside. And and um, we got a chance to get out there before it got really hot and humid. It's about to heat up here. 
and holy smoke has they gonna heat up so you our opportunities to fish will really be if you want to be comfortable and not burn the heck up if we're not going to go on a boat it's really early in the morning before the sun comes up like you know three four o'clock in the morning because once that sun is up you're gonna and the humidity starts popping you're gonna be dying it's it's so hot okay so this is the second side so i'm putting this panel on here Okay, and then, whoops. So yeah, putting my pop dots, my Dollar Tree pop dots, and this is a card, one with this down for the ages. Um, I think Willie will probably see the video. I'm trying to decide if I post this. I'll probably post it before Father's Day. Um, so yeah. Whoops, so all the crafters can get an idea. But you know, um, some of the times um, I see stuff that I want to do and I save it for the next year um, for Father's Day, Mother's Day, some of those projects. So if I don't get a chance to do it this year, I'll go back and do it for next year because sometimes it's after the fact when you see some of those most creative cards coming together. Boom. Um, so, yeah. So sometimes it's you can do that. So this is going to go in here. So what I'm going to do is lay this panel in and just make sure I have a border all the way around. I like that blue, but again, I like that other one too. And I was like, oh, I'm going to use both. And I, like I said, I used that because of the back. But I think it's kind of charming, you know, when you lay the card up and um, especially if dad took it to work and you know it's facing him there's something on the back there's a sentiment on the back okay that's that one and then I'll just turn that over just to cover that so that's all whoops and I didn't do this one I didn't do the I saved that one so let's let's dirty this up and smudge this up a little bit fishing dad Um, I actually had a thought to bring some, uh, uh, some, so, and I might do this off camera and, you know, I'm being really not paying really a lot of attention to this. I'm just smudging it up because it's, it's supposed to be smudgy and dirty and smudgy. Uh, it's not supposed to be all fancy pretty. That's the idea. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a, a few more elements to the front. Um, I was thinking, oh, wouldn't that look as we were talking? I said, you know what? I could do some silver um, sequins or some silver, um, oh, I forgot what they're called, pearls, something pearls with silver. And so that the front of the pockets will look like snaps. So it just wasn't, so I'll just have a little bit more stuff going on in the front because it looks kind of plain to me. So maybe something here that looks like snaps right there uh that's another thought i had which i probably will end up doing just class it up just a little bit i didn't have that thought until we put it together so that's the front of the card i mean the back of the back of the card fishing dad that's the front of the card and so the only thing that i have to do is add willie um and i uh did two of these three of these so it can just be a little um i didn't use a pot pop dot for that so I'm just gonna uh so I'll say Willie happy father's day and then I'll just have to sign it and then that's perfect we have a beautiful beautiful card that's got uh, some print and cut elements some a little paper piecing project and um, Willie will be excited I'm just bummed he'll see the card before Father's Day if he if he watches the video. But you know that's that how it that's how it goes. And I didn't want to do it on Father's Day like I usually post new videos on Sunday. So that reminds me if you like this content, um, and you if you like what I'm doing, please like subscribe and support the channel so that we can grow and I can bring you more. But um, I'm ever so grateful for the support that I have been receiving. And um, yeah. 
so that's that just made that sure that's a little so it looks like a little tag isn't that darling so when willie opens it oh have happy father's day and i'm definitely going to put some sparkle so i'm going to put some snaps here and i was trying to be careful with these to make sure that they weren't crooked and with all my talking so yeah i'm done for today um so i wish all the fathers out there happy father's day in early and um i will see you on the next time enjoy and have a great day